This is Spotykač, a looping playground that can be as simple as a delay and as deep as a modular partner for synced mayhem and generative textures. It's inspired by tape music, IDM, and all kinds of experimental sound works that thrive on curiosity. Before we jump in, I have a special announcement to make. Although Spotikach will be officially released around October 2025, we are making a small batch of pre-release units available to order today. These will ship in June, early July the latest, and not only you'll get a unit earlier than everyone else, you'll get to influence the firmware design with your own features, and maybe even alternative faceplates. More on that later in the video. This is a very small batch, so be quick, order today, check the link in the description. Also, we've teamed up with Oaka Microphones and every pre-release unit will come with a handcrafted Telus Contact microphone that's worth over 200 euros. So, if that got you intrigued, stick around and let's dive in. If you're new here, my name is Loi, and this is Synthioex Academy. Spotykač is the brainchild of Vlad Litvinenko, who came up with a vision a few years back. We started working closely on this project together, and now this is coming to life. In this video, we're going to talk about this patch quickly, um, the hardware design, um, the functionality and what's in this unit, uh, the Oaka Telos microphones, we're going to talk about this a little bit, and about the pre-release, so you'll know if this is for you or not. Let's get to it. Let's do some uh, Eurorack magic. So I have here a little setup with uh, Platz, that's my only sound source, and it's being animated by Stages, that is the sequencer, and Maths, that is doing some modulation on the volumes to make this sound a bit more humane. I also have here some reverb. That's on the output, so um, the reverb actually... Um, I'm taking the signal out from here and putting it into the 2HP reverb and then into the final stage instro output that goes into my um, recording device. So, let's record something. Uh, I'm gonna do Alt-Tap and that's going to get me into uh, synced clock mode. And I can simply do Alt and play to start recording. If I'm now in mix, uh, uh, in the center, I'm hearing on both decks, the input and the deck. So if I'll play now, and let's mix in only B, so we can only, we're only hearing B now. And now we're in the beginning position of the loop, all the way to the full size of the loop. But you'll see that everywhere that I land here, I'm going to get a good result because it's basically repeating on clock and it's synced to the uh, to the input. Okay, let's move to deck A and bring it in. And I'm going to pitch this one up so we can hear the difference between them. And let's record. signal and put it into the position here. So now it's animating this mix between this one and this one and the position is changing with the same signal. By the way these units are going to come with with a few of these cables. I think one of these and two of these but something like that which is yeah it's really handy to use them so we're going to add them into the 
into the units. This is our incoming signal. So we're still synced to it, which is really cool. I mean, you can you can play with this in lots of different ways. I can probably move to other... Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's nice. Let's see. Note that I'm in real mode here, so it actually changes pitch and time. Which I think is really cool. The whole idea of having a unit that has different modes and you can switch between them really quickly can get you to a lot of happy accidents. Nice. Let's uh, look at some uh, technical details. What is this hardware? What can you expect? Let's talk about the technical details for you nerds out there. There are obviously two decks here, left and right. We can route them in different ways. There is a mono routing, there is a stereo routing, which is both of them routing uh, to stereo. And this is an experimental one that's going to be generative, but also other things that we're going to be doing with the community, in particular people from the pre-release that have ideas for routing. There are 12 touch pads, you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, 13. That's because Alt is connected, so this is just for UX, so it's easier, user experience. It's easier to tap here and here, wherever you are, but Alt is Alt. Um, so that's 12 touchpads. These are for sequencing. We're going to have a video about this. Um, these are different effects, um, and these are play in reverse. There are also uh, CV inputs, there are seven of them. There is a CV in for position and size with a switch in between. You can choose either to control position, size, or both. There is a gate in and gate out. There is a mix CV, and there is a Volper Octave CV for here. So we can play uh, notes and such. Um, there is also a CV out from here and here, so these little tape things are um, modulation sources, these are outputs, and they can be either an envelope follower if we switch up, or um, some other waveforms, there are like four different waveforms. There is a mix fader left and right, so A and B with CV control over that as well. And there are the modes, the real mode, slice mode, and drift mode, which are defining the core behavior of the specific deck. So if this is in slice mode, for example, and this is in real mode, you're going to see the color difference, but it's also going to sound different. So uh, slice, for example, um, yeah, I'll get into the detail in another video. Basically, they will allow you to shift between different eras of tape, of, of, of looping. So, for instance, real is like 1960s or 1940s. Um, 
tape music, music on crit and stuff like that. Uh, slice is all about clock, chopping, slicing, shifting, drifting. Um, the effects are going to be like bit repeating and uh, stutter and stuff like that. Uh, and drift is going to be more generative. In the back here, we also have uh, MIDI in and out. There are headphones with a dedicated amplifier and a knob. Um, a reset button where you can upload different firmwares really quickly, uh, 15 volt DC in and USB in. The unit can run on USB with no problem, even on regular um, phone batteries. So that's really handy and you can just make m makes it really portable, which I love. All the code is open source and we can't wait to see what you guys are going to come up with it because with all our instruments it's interesting to see how the community takes them and shifts them and makes them into something different. Let's talk about these Telus contact microphones. These are made by Oka Instruments, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, in Dorset, UK by Ezra Gray, who's also an artist. These are active microphones with a pre-built preamp that capture ridiculous, ridiculous detail. Um, they're connected here to the Syro. Um, uh, let me try to turn this on on my zoom recorder so you can really hear it. So this is the glockenspiel that I recorded before, and. <laughs> Turn off the reverb so you can hear it. These are also handmade. It's beautiful work by uh, Syro. He's based in France, and these microphones are from Dorset, UK. And each of these uh, pre release units of Spotikatch are actually going to come with one of these microphones. I'm going to shoot a video about uh, Frippertronics and overdubbing and looping and uh, delay modes that we could do with this very soon and I'm going to use all these instruments. Um, so expect that in the coming weeks. But for now, let's talk about the pre-release, who is it for and why you should join. Spoticash will be officially released in the fall, but the pre-release is different. It's not just an early access, it's actually a way to help shape the instruments. You guys who are ordering now are going to get the units around June, July, and we'll have a Discord uh, channel dedicated for this where you'll be able to share your thoughts, uh, suggestions, experience with different loopers and how you would want to integrate different features uh, in a way that will be meaningful for you for performance. With all these touchpads, CV control, MIDI in out, two separate decks, stereo, um, different routing, there is a lot that we could do here. And as much as I want to make all these design decisions, I think that it's much more powerful we can, when we can actually get other makers and other artists to contribute with your ideas. So this is a limited run we are not going to be producing now for weeks. It's going to be just like a week or two of production um, in our warehouse in Rotterdam. If you want to join and you want to get it first and you want to contribute and suggest and see how this instrument is being shaped, order now. Thanks so much for watching. If you found it interesting, please like and subscribe. Comment below because that really helps us bring more people to the YouTube channel and I'll see you guys either on Superbooth or in the next video. Ciao.